looks at us uncertainly, but then she carefully sits down the platter and begins distributing our orders with quick, practiced movements. There you are, enjoy, call me if you need anything. She backs up gracefully, spins around, strolls back, and strolls back to the counter. Turning back to the tower, guys, came glass before me, I press groan. There's no way I can eat all of this. Lillian, there is no... You're not... You're still calling me Lillian. Okay then, Lily. Lily, I can't eat this. It's, it's huge. It's massive. Lilia has a sand of some sort of small pastry and a cup of something. Flavored milk, I think. Just looking at all this makes me full. Oh, you can. Once you start on that, it'll be hard to stop. We'll all be gone before you know it. Yeah, I don't think everyone operates like that. I do. I kinda do operate like this on sweets. Most of the time. But if you can, it's still completely okay. I'll finish it for you. You seem to have quite a bit on your plate already. <coughs> oh, this. I think I'll leave some of it, or maybe I'll have it back. I do that sometimes. Not really giving her an answer, I'll stick my spoon into the parfait, draw out a small chunk and take a bite out of it. Mm. It's good. I can't imagine myself being crazy over it, but it's good. Lillian seems to be eyeing me, probably watching my reaction. So? Do you like it? Yeah, it's good. It has a distinct flavor. Mm, see, no problem then. You can finish it. If you want, we can come here again. This is the only place around that has these. Maybe. It had gone a little off guard there for a moment, but I think things are okay now. I get to work on finishing my ice cream. Lillian chatters away along with eating. Talking about her day at the college, things her friends said, something a teacher did, how she feels about certain things. Whenever she would come up for her, I would have a response. It was mostly me listening though. It was, in a way, fun to watch her go on like this. What was surprising was that, alongside, she was also managing to make short work of her share of the orders. Inna, are you listening? Hmm? Oh, oh yeah, I'm listening. You simply hate this dreadful, snappy girl who spreads rumors about you. I was done with that, and I don't hate her anymore with friends. <laughs> oh my god, girl! That was long time ago. <laughs> I was talking about my dad. Oh, sorry, I tripped it off. What about him? Is he doing all right? Are you bored? What? No, not at all. I was actually enjoying listening to you. Hmm. Hey, you gave my dad a fake name. Uh, yeah. I wanted to be careful. She starts laughing. My dad and I were talking and came up. Lena, huh? That's hilarious. <laughs> Sorry. Did you like sign a contract or something? No, my associate takes care of those things. I look around. We're about done here. Do you want to leave? Yeah, don't worry about the bill, I'll take care of it. I'm the one who called you out here after all. No, it's fine, this much is nothing, leave it to me. I just assume we are going to pay for ourselves, but now that's come to this, I have to step up. I can't very well have her pay for everything. It's no big deal, I always do this for my friends. You always pay for them? Yeah, it's no big deal. And besides, that's how it works. I arranged this, so I pay. You haven't done this before? Done what? Visit a cafe with someone? Well, 
It's true I haven't really done something like this before. I don't know, never mind. Okay, how about we just pay for our own things? Sound good? Yeah, fine. I'll take care of r a n s t e e though. No, I've got this. Lillian silences me before I can voice an objection. It seems like she's going to be stubborn about this. So I'll just leave it at that. We'll leave the money on the table and exit the cafe. It's starting to get dark outside. I hadn't realized how much time had passed. Wow, is this late already? Yeah. The setting sun cuts a yellow glow over everything. Alright, I'll see you later. Hey, did you forget? Forget what? You dropping me off back home today? Oh, right, sorry. Come on then. She follows me to the car, grinning from year to year. Just toss your bag in the back. Okay. We get in, I start the car and pull away from the sidewalk. I drive at a moderate speed. I wonder if Mr. Girl normally allows his daughter to stay out till late. Is he worried right now? Hmm. Lillian is laying back in her seat, eyes closed. Today was nice. I had fun. This was probably the highlight of my day. Highlight. Hey, did you mean that? Hmm? I'll see you later. So, we'll keep seeing each other? We can do this again? I actually said that without thinking, but. Yeah, I don't see why not. Really? Great, that's a relief. I thought we might just suddenly disappear or something. Oh, and just remember, I know where you live. <laughs> yes, yes, you do. By the way, were are you really going to let me walk all the way home? This late? After what happened and all? Ah, uh, well, no, I don't know. I wasn't really thinking. <laughs> you can be such a d i s s I, I'm not, I'm not usually, I'm usually pretty clear headed. I never really took myself for a scatterbrain. It's okay, it's, it's cute. Good grief, what is going on? I have. No idea how or even if I should respond to that. I try to turn my brain off as I focus solely on driving. We're at Lilia's house now. The remainder of the drive was fairly quiet. Leon didn't say much after that. She's probably embarrassed. Lilian? She jumps about an inch in the air. What? We're here? Oh, yeah. She seems to be hesitating or、uh, thinking about something. What's the matter? Well, it's. She starts to say something but stops short. It's obvious something is bothering her, but it seems like she can't find the words to explain what it is. A moment passes with me just watching Lilia as she fidgets, avoiding my gaze all the while. I don't want to just. I need to know if you are.、Uh... She stops as suddenly as she started. Lillian bites her lip, looking disturbed. This sudden mood change comes as a surprise to me, considering how cheerful and happy she was just a short while ago. I wonder what could be the matter. I can't really see clearly, given how the dark it is, but. Her face looks red. Oh my god, is she going to confess? Oh my god, that would be so sweet and cute. But, but what about Sam? And Fuse? Oh my god. Or I'm looking at s a i n g too much in the situation. I don't know. Come on, say it. Tell me what's wrong. I'll hear you out. 
Wait, could it be... Is it your father? Will he be angry at you for staying out this late? My dad? No, no, it's not that. I don't think he will even be home tonight. It's strange to see Lillian acting this way. It's almost like she's taking advantage of the fact that it's dark and we can see each other well. Inna, what am I to you? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, oh Jesus Christ! Oh, that's so cute now. Where are the people I think it is? She rushes to continue before I can say anything. I mean, what was today to you? What did you think of it? I don't know how to answer that. It looks like this is really important to her, so I have to be careful answering. What was the date to me? Uh, I don't really think about it much. Is the right answer here? Noticing my hesitation, Lillian appears to get even more frustrated. Um, like, how was it? How, how do you see it or, or me? She shuffles around her seat, eyes darting left and right. I, I honestly don't know. How do I see today? How do I see her? I didn't know she was that concerned about how I view her. Why does she even want to know this? I don't know what she wants me to say or what I should say. I have to say something though. I look at her sitting there, visibly embarrassed, looking up at me with an expression of apprehension, anticipation, worry. I know I'm missing something there, something basic. Lillian has feelings for us, I, I mean, what else this can be? If this would be just friendship, she wouldn't be blushing, she wouldn't be stammering. Come on, come on, it has to be, it has to be. Oh my god. Hmm. Okay, save. And, of course, it was nice. It was really nice. I guess that much is certain. I was apprehensive at first, but eventually I found myself having fun. There's never a dull moment with Lillian. It's a refreshing change. Well, I... I don't really... Lillian suddenly holds up a hand gesturing for me to stop. No. No, no, don't answer that. Just don't answer that yet. Well, girl, can you chill and... Like, decide what do you want me to do because you just ask me now. No, don't answer it! Oh, Jesus Christ. Lillian, you're going a little bit all crazy here. Uh, okay. She seems to have come to some sort of a decision. That's a relief. I realized I was afraid of hurting her. There was another one of those instances where the disparity between us became evident, although she never seems to see or feel it. She smiles as she regards me. I I'll call you later. Oh, okay. My god, girl! I thought we had a moment here! I thought it was important! I thought it- and you just ran away? Jesus Christ! That's, that's not how things are done. It's not. <sighs> Saying that, she opens the girl door and hurts as if trying to escape. <laughs> Lillian, you're a crazy bunch. You are. I watch her as she steps through the outer gate and makes her way towards the manor head boat. Sighing, I lean back in my seat. I feel like a lot has happened the last few hours. I need to sort out my thoughts. Thinking back to the events of a day, I feel exhausted and confused. Lillian was obviously trying to get at something. I wonder what the answer she was looking for was. Did I handle that wrongly? I don't know, man. I don't know enough. I tried my best. I suppose I wouldn't know. I've never been in a situation like this before. I stir up the car and ease away from the sidewalk. Still musing over the odd conversation. 
I tap my pen on the table. It feels like I've been staring at this piece of paper for a whole hour. Checking the time confirms that that's exactly what I've been doing. I'm trying to plan out my agenda for the coming days, list out all the number of things that need doing. I learned that it always helps to have a written guideline or schedule to be followed, having this list in a solid form makes organization easier. Though the finalized list often ends up resembling a meshwork of doodles. I can't concentrate, exasperated as I set my pen down. I can't help but wonder if she's somehow doing this on purpose, if making people feel confused is a talent of hers, but to what end? It's been a few hours since I dropped Leon off. I've been trying not to think about her or anything related to her. I haven't been very successful in distracting myself though. Lillian, you are an enigma. And normally that wouldn't bother me. I have never really been curious about the endings of mystery novels. I would always patiently read them through from start to end without chewing over the titles and trying to figure out the grand plot. Really? In a you weird, I always do. I always do that. This restlessness is new to me. And we fall asleep. I rest my head against the back of my chair and close my eyes. Lillian's behavior towards me has been changing lately. When we first met she was a little aloof, hostile even, but given the circumstances that was understandable. Lately she's been acting like... Is this friendship? Oh no, no! A blushes, the stammering, everything. I, if this is friendship, I'm gonna be like so done with this. It can't be, Ina. It's it's something more, but I still don't understand what is it that it's between you and Sam, and why don't we see Sam anymore? What is happening with Sam? Did the doctor from Switzerland came, and how? how? I don't know anything about your life anymore, Ina. I feel, I feel left out about what's happening with Sam. Would that explain everything? The way she's been acting, the way I've been feeling? Oh, you oh, you get the feels too, Inna? Oh, that's an interesting piece of information. Are we friends now? At the cafe she sort of implied we were. But somehow it seems like it's more confusing than that. Lydia wouldn't be so conflicted if that were the case. Would she? Could she be? Was she tr- Yes! Yes, she was, Ina! I believe she was! She surely was trying to. She, was she trying to confess? You know what? You're really, really, really bad at this, girl. But at least you got it! I shake my head trying to clear it of idiotic inferences. I smack the side of my head for a good measure. You shouldn't because I'm sure that was right. I might have appeared like she was trying to uh, to say something like that, but that's ridiculous. Why? You're pretty. You were kind of... Um, you really made an impression on her. You friendly. I don't see why not. I'm older. Oh my god! Oh my goodness! Four years older! Like, oh my god, man, girl. It does make sense, she's a girl. Oh my god. That's, that's a nice way to put it, Ina. That's a great way to put it, Ina. That's beautiful. <laughs> that's... I just... I... Ina, you really don't know how the world works now, do you? <laughs> Why would she even... Yeah, it's that <laughs> I'm afraid it's not, Ina. I'm afraid even if your girls, two girls, can love. Sometimes. At least she can love you. It's, 
it depends what your feelings are. I should just get back to work. You should actually go to sleep, woman.